All right, here's an instrument that I'm working on. It's a uh, tape cassette player, as you can see right now. It's just taped down to this board. Um, and what I've done is I've um, gotten into the inside circuitry. I've replaced the little speed control dial that they use to calibrate the tape speed. I've um, wired uh, one, two, three, four, five of these variable speed um, controllers to uh, replace the potentiometer that I removed. But these are only active when each of the buttons that corresponds to the dial is pressed. Um, as you can hear when I hit play, the, uh, the audio source right now on the tape cassette is just a, um, it's just a single tone. Um, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but um, what happens is I can press I can press any of these buttons and it'll uh, change the pitch dependent on um, where I've set this dial. I've got uh, some modifications, some additional mods I'm going to do. I'm going to make it so um, the audio signal when you're not controlling the pitch cuts out so you can only hear sound whenever you hit a button. Um, so like with anything else, the magic uh, really happens when you plug this thing and add some effects. So let me show you just the first thing I've done with this here during a test. All right, so I'm gonna take a signal out. This isn't the best option, but I'm gonna find a new way of getting the signal out. You'll see as I play that I got a, I've got a tuner here. Um, and it, it'll tell you um, around the note that you're playing. <laughs> I've got an EQ. Um, I've got this little altar boy on it. And um, this is taking the pitch and, and dropping it and still letting some of the higher pitches through. I got a nice thick reverb. Um, I can activate this tremolo in a second. And then another EQ that's just helping um, to tame some of the low end that these, um, that those plugins might add along the way. Uh, if you have a song that you want to use this as a lead for, um, like here's, here's something that I threw together and I'll just noodle along with it.
So the next thing I'm going to add is, um, like I said, I'm going to add an a, uh, audio output so I don't have to come out of here. And that audio output is also going to mute the signal until I hit one of these, so it'll be more like a keyboard. There's not going to be a tone running through at all times. And of course I have to build a uh, more functional case for this um, that'll look nice. I'm also going to add a few more keys um, to give a few more playing options, and I'm going to build it like a piano. Piano. So um, yeah, I'll make more of those videos soon.